Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In video, in this video, we are going to see how we can copy group membership from one user to another user. Last time we had made video to copy a group membership from one user to another user, but this time there is a little different. I have created a CSV file and this is a very simple PowerShell script uh, where we can use this script to copy group membership for multiple users at the same time. Okay, so let me show you that file. Okay, so here I have a from column and here I have a to column. From column have the user from where I have to copy membership to the next user. And that user I have mentioned in the to section. So here uh, you can see all the users start with the A and here where I have to transfer the group membership that uh, user name start with the B. So B user 1. Uh, 0 1 and here a user 0 so in this way we are going to copy the whole group membership from this user to this user okay so let me show you the group here in the active directory so you can see here each user have a certain set of users uh, group membership and uh, I have added one extra group to identify okay the same user has been copied okay so a user 0 1 have uh, group 01 and the same like the other user you can see here the this user like 04 user have the 04 group correct so in this way I have copied here the all the group so we will understand okay the same uh, users group has been copied to the uh, two user so let me show you the B user because there is no group membership as of now and this is the default group there is no other group added okay so let me show for other no group membership and let me show okay so now I'm going to run the script and what it will do it will uh, in the first line we have created a, a variable that is all member okay and here we are importing CSV file so in the first line it will detect the CSV file and it will capture all the data inside that now what it will do here we are using the for each loop member in all member okay so now what it will do here it will take one entry at a time and then perform the action then again it will take uh, go for the second entry so what it is exactly okay so let me open the csv file here okay so what it will do here for each member so when the csv file is imported in the script it will copy uh, whole data but it will only uh, perform the action one by one okay so it will start from here and it will end here because this is the last user okay so how it works let me run the script and you will get that okay so here once uh, we uh, perform the action on each member so what we have done here we have created a new variable that is dollar copy from and dollar copy to okay and is equal to here we have given this member okay and the column we have mapped here dot from and dot to so you can see we have our csv file only have a two column from and to so here we have mapped that column to the variable and this is how you can do the same thing for other script where you are importing the csv file and you have to map each column to the variable so you have to uh, like uh, uh, if you are using the for each loop then you have to use this variable you have to put it here whichever the very vari new variable you are creating and you have to put dot and then the column name the column name should match here okay so it should not be any different uh, than what you have mentioned okay let me okay fine now here uh, this is our exact like the actual script uh, which is making that changes okay now what is that gate hyphen ad user okay now this is the ad command that will identify the user okay so here we are providing the identity that copy from so now what here exactly we are doing so we are getting that user information and we are uh, we are telling here that I need this property and which property is this member of okay now what it will do it will fetch all the users from uh, sorry member of uh, membership from that user which we have given here okay so now whenever the first time we are running the script it will detect this variable from here okay so first entry the first user will be here it will take all the membership group membership uh, 
properties it will store that and then if we have given the pipeline here correct now we have used here select hyphen object and then we have used uh, parameter hyphen expand property and the value of that uh, whatever the group we have selected here it will be uh, it will select that because we just need a member of to copy that right we don't need any other uh, variable or uh, the parameter okay then again we have given the pipeline because that group we want to use it for our next user that we want to copy to correct so here we have added a new command add hyphen ad group member then hyphen members then here we have to use the second username where we want to copy the group like the destination so this is our source user and this is our destination user and here we have used a member of and here we are selecting that member of and we are copying here into the next user that is a copy to user correct so one by one it will perform the script and it will copy that so let me show you let me run the script here okay it's run it's done uh, so let me verify here okay so earlier there were no group and you can see this time there should be group okay you can see that and you can also see that the group a user group 01 is added to 01 user okay so in the same way uh, b02 user should have the 02 group okay so all the membership has been added into that and it is the same like 05 this is the 05 user so 05 group is added okay and here 08 okay you can see 08 if you want to verify the group let me open the a08 and uh, we'll compare it with 0 b08 okay and you can see all the groups are same you can verify here so this is the way you can copy the group membership from for multiple user through csp file if you have any doubt you can put into the comment box i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video